Coffee chain Starbucks got a jolt during the second quarter from international sales, with same-store sales outside of North America jumping 24%. In particular, China posted 46% sales growth during the period. North American sales, for comparison, only grew 7%. So the international boost wasn't enough to lift Starbucks revenue. Wall Street estimates, however, net sales rose 12% year-over-year to $9.17 billion, below the nine point two nine billion expected by Wall Street. Now before we get into the analysis, um, let's get into the China data in particular as China is going to be the growth engine for Starbucks this decade. Um, this article is coming from Yahoo Finance. Uh, Starbucks misses Q3 comparable same sort of sale estimates. However, China sees 46% sales growth. Again, this is a China story. Um, China still hasn't really come out from the pandemics. Um, so, you know, we saw that although they had a good quarter for or a decent quarter for GDP, um, it wasn't enough. And many believe that they're going to stimulate their economy, which would be bullish for stocks in general. So the CEO in particular said he's confident Starbucks will continue to pursue a strong growth narrative despite the mixed results. In the release, he said there are multiple paths available for the company to derive significant growth and margin improvements, which positions us well to create outsized long-term shareholder value. All right, so here's the numbers from China in particular. Again, China boosted international growth through the last quarter as the impact of COVID-19 lockdowns moved further into the rear view mirror. Sales were up 46%, however, Higher than expectations of 41.8%. Foot traffic there was also an extraordinary 48%. But customers added less to their orders. The average ticket size dropped by 1%, which is not much. At the end of this quarter, the U.S. China made up 61% of the company's portfolio. That's why the U.S. market and the China market is so important. With 16,144 and 6,480 stores respectively. Last September, Starbucks announced its 6,000th store opening in China. Um, this number is going to get to 10,000 uh, probably within the next uh, you know, couple of years. All right, so let's go to the charts and we're going to go zoom out to the daily chart. And uh, what we can see is that uh, you have this huge support resistance band at $95 and that did serve as support uh, last month. Uh, let's go down to the daily uh, weekly chart and you can kind of see in the most recent weeks uh, going back to mid-May price has been range bound you did have a fake out breakout to the downside and also to the upside um, which signifies this area here is just equilibrium between buyers and sellers uh, let's go down to the daily chart Now, another indicator that price has been range bound, you can see all your moving averages just kind of converging together. Um, you know, so as they continue to verge and you do get a spike in volume either to the upside or the downside, that could be um, a real uh, breakout. I did have a target at the 105 level. And why? Well, if you scroll out to the monthly time frame you can see that was support resist and resistance so had that as a target once price bounced off this uh, resistance support band at the $95 level so pre-market um, the price is off roughly a dollar you know it's muted for more or less um, you just gotta wait on Starbucks um, till you get some some real type of movement on volume in particular or some type of news callus whether it be the stock market but in this case specific to Starbucks news um, again play the range you can show it at 105 buy in the 95 area um, thanks for watching subscribe please like the video